Which character death hit you differently, and why? Counterluff in a series of unfortunate events, the books, just something about a man so shaped by his own misery, becoming a figure of cruelty and greed. Relentless in pursuing the misery of others. He believes all people are this way in reality, and cannot see through the darkness use his intelligence and skills for good. Then he just dies, unredeemed, on a coastal shelf. And no one has anything to say. That is also what I liked about the books as a kid. There was an underlying message of sometimes terrible things happen and there's not much you can do about it, but try to get out the other side kicking. Nell in Haunting of Hill House. The whole Bent Neck Lady episode and the funeral episode were absolute television masterpieces. The realization of what happened is heartbreaking. Ellie. From up, my so is relatively quiet, and I'm the complete opposite, energetic, always have something to say. We've been together for ten years now, met at sixteen. I worry that we can't conceive children some day, and that's partly because of a pretty bad miscarriage eight years ago. In turn, I worry about him being lonely and even quieter if I die first. Captain's death in Jojo Rabbit. Watched it last night expecting the mum to die, but the captain's death made me tear because it was unexpected. From, a, from my job, when Varda is crying his funeral, screaming about his glasses, it's diff gets me every time. The princess, Shireen, I had to take a break from Game of Thrones after that one. When Lee died in the Walking Dead game, the shit made me cry. Boxer from Animal Farm. He worked so hard his whole life, and to be sent to a glue farm while his best friend screams and runs behind him. Chills, man. Washburn in Serenity. He was my favourite character from Farfley, and I just wasn't expecting it at that point in the movie. Legion. Mithri, that is heartbreaking. More if you choose to kill him. 